Premier League predictions, round two. Manchester City versus Tottenham Hotspur. Ian, we are back. It is the second round of Premier League predictions. You spanked me last week. An absolute spanking. Ian got nine out of ten results forecast correctly. Follow my scores and you win big. I got five. Um... Welcome it, back. It always happens though, folks. I always take the early rounds and it's I true. never win in the end. So. It's true. So let's give him another lead and let's start with Arsenal versus Burnley. Well, yeah, two sides that had good wins on the opening day and boy do I wish we could go back and do our season predictions video. Click on it right there where Arsenal went out and strengthened their side almost straight after we did the video, Thomas, and look in a much better place they did when we did that video. So, rats. Arsenal actually looked pretty resolute for once in a 1-0 win against Newcastle, but you don't know how good Newcastle are going to be. They'll be too good for Burnley, though, who themselves had a good win on the opening day. It's a big win for you Gunners fans. I'm at 4-0. I've recently been told by a close friend of the channel that we are not biased enough, so let me continue my Arsenal hatred. You are a raging dumpster fire of shit. You barely beat Newcastle. You strengthened your team with David Luiz, the single most error-prone <laughs> defender in Premier League history. Yes. Congratulations! You overpaid on a man called Pepe no one had ever heard of, and thus, you will lose to Burnley 1-0 this week, and your epically dire season will begin. Question. Well, not question. Funny thing. Well, everyone knows David Luiz is a really shit defender, but it's funny when they sign him, all of a sudden people are like, It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's a waste of time. When he's like, when you're defending a 1-0 lead and you're looking, where's David Luiz, and he's up in the opposition penalty area. Cla it's classic, classic Arsenal. And Mustafi falls over on a banana skin. Anyway, never mind, we'll digress. What did you say? What did you say? 1 0 Burnley. 1 0 Burnley? Yeah. <laughs> Aston Villa versus Bournemouth. I mean, Villa almost got a win. They played really well. Played really I was well. actually really impressed by them. Uh, Bournemouth, not so impressed by. Should have won that game. I mean, I'd, well done to Sheffield United, but Bournemouth, typical them, they just cannot see these results yeah. out. Um, and, you know, because of that, I'm going to go with a two-all draw here, because I see Villa getting goals, but I also see Bournemouth getting goals. I'm actually going to get Aston Villa to win. I think they had a good performance in the first one. I still think Bournemouth, away from home, you know what they're going to do. They're going to be open. It's going to play into Villa's hands in this one, because Villa are a very good side going forward. 2-1 Aston Villa win. Brighton and Hove Albion versus West Ham United. And my God, geez, talk about a team who had the best result of the weekend. Brighton, what a result against Watford. Again. Terrible predictions on our part. Hey, it's early, it's early days, but if you carry on playing with that sort of the way you've started under Potter, then you're certainly going to be a lot more enjoyable to watch than it was under Hewton. West Ham United, my God, it's not that you lost 5-0 to City because that can happen. It's the way you down tools and seem to give up. And it was like only a VAR goal that seemed to give the stadium any life. I'm a little bit worried for you, West Ham. You didn't start well this shit last season. I think you're going to go down in this one as well. Seagulls, six points out of six. Two nil win. I got West Ham winning this one 2-1. There we go, I did all the summary for you. Wait, is that biased again? I think I'm being biased again. Take that! Everton versus Watford. Eh. I mean, how excited were Everton for this season? And then what was that performance? Can predict where it will be on Match of the Day running. Last? Probably last. Close to last. Although, how did Liverpool felt to like sixth? Did it? Oh, yeah. It's only because it was on the Friday night probably though. I know, but still. That was harsh. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not really that enthused by this game. Watford are going to want a result. Everton are also going to want a result. And I think it's going to play out to a dour one all draw. Yeah, Watford can't be as bad as they were against Brighton. And you know what my thoughts are about Everton. I think they're boring as hell. I'm going to even say it won't even be a goal. Nil-nil draw. How are we accused of not being biased enough? Every single team we either like or dislike. Come at me. Norwich City versus Newcastle United. So. Uh, so, <laughs> How many games do I get to do that for? <laughs> you could do it. Norwich were... Norwich... Uh, they looked okay at times with Liverpool, but at times at the back... Oh, God, Liverpool ripped them apart. Yeah. Absolutely. If you defend like that all season, you're in real big trouble. Newcastle fans, welcome to my new section of my... Give Steve Bruce a chance, God damn it! You've got to give him a chance. You looked okay against Arsenal. You get those players bedded in. You look like you've got a lot of pace in the side. It just went a little bit disjointed of all the new signings. I think you can have a decent season. And I'm backing you to win this game. Yes, that's right, Newcastle. You're going to go to Norwich and get a 2-1 win. 
I don't mean any disrespect here, but I'm just going to pull up a chair because I know it's going to happen after this. I've got a nil-nil draw, and in the next match, Southampton versus Liverpool. Thomas! I don't know if you're aware, but I'm a big fan of King Ralph. King Ralph. And, look at me, look at me when I'm talking to you, damn it. And, you heard it here first. I'm backing King Ralph's boys to bounce back from their opening day disappointment loss to Burnley and beat Jurgen Klopp's team. They're gonna press and squeeze and press and squeeze and press and squeeze the life out of Liverpool and they're gonna win 3-1. I don't really need to say anything after that. 4-0 Liverpool. Hi everyone, it's Ian here. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Please support our channel by giving this video a big old like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and hit that notify bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Please also check out our social media. Tom works incredibly hard on this. I must admit I don't do anything. So please go and check us out on those platforms. And also check out Grandstand Betters. We're super excited to be working with these guys. They're an exceptional tipster website. Are they as good as us? Yes, without question. Go and check them out. And without further ado, let's get back to the good stuff. Sheffield United versus Crystal Palace. Uh. I was actually really impressed by Sheffield United. I thought they played quite well. <laughs> I just realised you're going to do that for every game. <laughs> Too many United roll around. They uh, they played quite well. Uh, they got a draw out of a game that Bournemouth decided they didn't want to win. You know, classic Bournemouth. Uh, Crystal Palace looked completely toothless. Thank you, Wilfred Zaha, for coming on in the second half near the end and at least trying because no one else seemed to be in the mood. Uh, I've got a uh, I've got another draw in this. No, you know what I don't. I got Shelf United edging this one, 1-0. One I'm gonna take that draw though, that you just said a second ago. Uh, I just think Palace are just, I think Hodgson's just backing on them to be pretty solid and not concede many goals and that's gonna be their path to staying up. Shelf United played pretty well, good result. Billy Sharp proving us all wrong that he can score goals in the Premier League. I'm gonna go for another 1-1 one -one draw. Let me give Billy Sharp a couple of matches. Chelsea versus Leicester City. So, Ugh, Chelsea, what a bad result in the end. Promised so much at some time. How, I don't know how they went in lose struck trailing at half time. Post, struck the bar, 60% yeah. possession, more shots, more more tackles, All of those things. more passes. They, they lost four minutes. I, the haters have come out in full force. Uh, it feels like people were waiting for this. I get it, Abramovich, this is one of the most successful teams in Premier League history, but I don't think they're that bad. I don't think there's been any negative thoughts towards Lampard until this result. Oh now, yeah, all of and now it's come out and said, terrible team, oh my god, they've lost Hazard. He's got no chance. Yeah, it really like stack the it almost feels like I don't know, just you look at their squad, you still think yes they've lost Hazard, but it's still a bloody good squad. Also just there's so much good youth young players. Like you forget that. Or not we forget that. People seem to be forgetting that. Mm -hmm. Their team is stacked with young players. Kurt Zuma is gonna fi have to figure out what his right foot does as well as his left though, because it's a little bit confusing for him at this point. And take massive Oh it's Ka huge. He comes back. Um I've got Chelsea winning this because Yeah. 2 0. I, I'm going to back Chelsea as well in this one. I, I think they're going to respond. Uh, Leicester didn't look great against Wolves. They look like they're still trying to iron out some things for their season. I'm going to go. I'm going to say a 2-0 win. And now for the featured match. Manchester City versus Tottenham Hotspur. We are running long, so I'm going to try and do this succinctly. City were absolutely indomitable. Like the Lions. Like the snowman. Yes. They were nuts. They are so good. They destroy teams, they pick them apart, and they start every season off like a freaking forest fire. Spurs just about edged it at the end of the match. Two late goals, weren't great. Musa Sissoko is still a key player. I think their squad's been improved. I think they're a better team. I think they're the third best team in the Premier League. I just think City and Liverpool are still a mile ahead, and I don't think you want to play, you yeah. want to play City right now. I think City win this 3-0. And I think that Spurs fans might go a bit nuts over this, but at the end of the day, being beaten by one of the best teams in the world is just something that happens. I got City 3 now. You can see why Pochettino played Kane in that Champions League final, because in that last game, it's just he does pretty much nothing all game and then just steps up and scores two goals and he eats the difference in the end. 
I have to say, Stottenham, playing Man City this early is just the wrong time for you to be playing them. I agree with what Tom said about City. They've hit the ground running. I think you'll get a goal, though. I'm going 3-1. And it's time for the main event. Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting Manchester United. OK, Thomas, we put 6-0 in the thumbnail to Man United um, as a joke four. in the last one. Nine four. We nearly got that right. Or Explain what happened. We're savants. We are absolute savants. Uh, Noah, Man United got quite lucky, but they played relatively well. They stayed. You're a happy boy watching that game. Though. Yeah. All they... the joy came back. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of joy coming back. It was it, nice to I, see. It, it is one of those things where my natural inclination right now is to push back a little bit, though. Um, I'm not quite sure what Harry Maguire did that made him the greatest centre back of all time, but it's the media. It, like four. Oh my god. Um, Old Trafford erupted every time. Do you see he didn't make a single tackle in the match? Yeah, I know, because I had a bet on him, he had to make two tackles, and I was like, how the hell have I lost this bet? Uh, they look really good going forward. Uh, Pogba looks like he's on form. Give you know, at least maybe we can hope for three or four matches like that. But Rashford and Lingard look quite good up top. Martial also looks reinvigorated. The happiness in the squad, every goal they he scored. Smiled. I know, it's the first time in three years I've seen a smile. I've got United to win this. I've got them winning 3-1. Oh, also, Wolves, you had a boring first match of the season, and I worry that that's going to bleed into your next game. Not that you're a bad team in any way. Should have won, though. That was a dodgy VAR disallowed goal. We're not talking about VAR on this. Good, because I'm here to talk about Man United, because last season I highlighted a fraud and a charlatan, and he has come back this season. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, you are every bit the fraud and imposter of a manager I thought you were. Yes, you won 4-0. You're papering over cracks. Pogba, you played a couple of good through balls. It won't be long before you go back to doing your Gallic shrugs and being lazy. Maguire, exactly. What the hell have you done? Tammy Abraham ripped you apart in that game. What are you going to do when you come up against a good striker? Man United have not got a chance going to Molyneux. Wolves all day long for me. 3-1. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Okay. Well, as you can see, I've beaten him into submission. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be back again very soon.